Hi, I'm Jim from M&M Tools and Machinery. Uh, today we're going to talk about the difference between a roto hammer, a regular hammer drill, and an impact driver. Um, we get questions like that all the time here. Guys will want to use their uh, hammer drill for an impact, vice versa, and then all the time, constantly, I'm getting questions about guys saying, oh, I want to use my hammer drill, and why do I need to buy a roto hammer? So we figured it would be really a good idea to come in and kind of look at the guts of and the difference between the three models so you can kind of understand. Um, I don't know all that, but Don, who is our repair tech, he does. And so he's going to go over the, all this with us. Um, we tried to be uh, equal here. We've got three different brands in our, in our, that, that are being worked on. This is a hammer drill, uh, and this is a rotary hammer. Um, and then we'll go over, over the impact. And the way the hammer works on this is these little balls right there, right inside of this. And so that's what turns and that's where the hammer comes from. Which isn't really strong. So are you missing a ball or is that yeah, just... Yeah, one ball's missing. That's kind of a personal question. <laughs> well, it, it fell down. It fell down. These go inside those gears. So when it's turning, it just goes up and down like that. Those balls go up and down, that's where you get your hammer action. This is just a Milwaukee screw. Where this goes on there like that. This is the inside of the hammer drill. This is the nose. This is what hits a bit, which goes down inside of there. This is the cylinder. hits that which goes in that which never hits this it's only it's ran by compression air compression so it doesn't hit this so Don how does it build up the air in there like when it goes it's back and forth this is the crank mm -hmm. the crank is broke off I think Yeah, that's the crank right there that goes in there. Let me see if it'll come out. That's no, broken. I don't know if you want to show my broken piece. But that goes right on there. Which spins on this. which drives the piston. So that goes back and forth now, that goes back and forth. Sweet. Cool. Okay, this so is what hits a bit. So what's good about this one? Or bad, both good and bad. Because this more has more hitting power. This is just a move, spin and skip type of thing, you know? It's only this much, this has a lot more area. Towards it. Because cool. this has a compressed air that pushes it. This is just the turning action. So this doesn't have the ump to like. No. Do well, this thing is more heavy duty. That's for something very small, like. I don't know what, what size of bits they say you can use up to in mm -hmm. those. Like, half like a masonry bit? Yeah. Half inch and five eighths? Mm -hmm. That wears those out too fast. Mm -hmm. So you want to be like quarter or three eighths? Yeah. Okay. If you're using it all the time, it's gonna wear them out. But, you know, if you just use a half inch or five eighths every once in a while, then it'll probably be all right. But. And then the other negative to these is that it beats the crap out of the chucks, right? The, the chuck and a hammer. It beats the crack out of it, it heats it up. They heat up the motor, burns up the motors. Okay, all right. So everybody's concept will be similar to this, even if they're just shaped a little different, right? Yeah. They're all pretty much the same. When you order, when I order uh, these, you get the whole assembly. This is all one assembly, and almost all the tools. So your negative on repairing these is that you got to buy a whole assembly in order to do any rep mm -hmm. repair work. What about this, Don? Do you, does, do you have to buy this individually, or is no, it a whole assembly? 
this a repair? Uh huh. Mm -hmm. oh, it looks like mm -hmm. it's as long as that is a broken crankshaft. Mm -hmm. This is probably a five dollar part. Where this is anywhere from from um, mm -hmm. thirty five to. Hundred dollars for a gearbox. Oh wow! It mm -hmm. depends on what brand. And the only way there's some Makitas that are really cheap. Mm -hmm. The only way we'll be able to get into that is by breaking it apart in a way that you're not supposed to when you're repairing it. So, but we have expert help, so it's okay. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, right? yeah. You can get the, some parts on some of them. Some of them you can. It's easier just to replace the gearbox because all this little stuff in there. If one thing's gone, then. Here's it. Something else could be gone. In right. There. If you order one little part, it could be something else. So then, Don, how does an impact work? This is the uh, anvil inside of there, which rides in this, which hits it, which is ran by a spring and two balls in there. So when it spins, it's gonna spin. But that won't come out of there because so you have to take that out. I guess we could take that off. Twins? No, because there's a seat here, so it's Cincinnati or Chicago or something. It's like the Chicago Cubs or something. Well, I always knew that was their, their logo on their hats and whatever, but I never knew it meant Twin Cities. That's so weird. You know, any place they put on anything? What else is there out there that we don't know? Oh, so much. So much. Yeah, dude, so much. This is what you're here for, man. This is why we're here. So much ball. that we will never know. And you got to tell them. <laughs> Yes, and that's going to come out. That's where the hammer action is, right there. So when, so when the electricity turns it on, the armature turns, it turns down. Which the spring goes up and down. So when that's hitting, the spring goes up and down. This whole comes together like that. So, and then it so it's like a up. compression? So yeah, it compresses a little bit as it's impacting. It compresses, it pushes that down, and it slides, slides down, and that goes over like that. Oh, cool. Like that. Oh, okay. But it just does it wicked fast. Yeah, so it's just going real fast like that. And that spring's going down. Because there's two little balls right in there. Which... There's a cam type thing in there that when you turn it, this is this is turning so fast and so that's just going like that. That's going up and down. Okay. So um, the impacts only engage once there's pressure, right? Like once there's yeah. How come? That's just the way this, this spring is designed. Yeah. That's, this is also on the same design on electric impacts, like some of the DeWalt's 290s. Yeah. This is the same concept mm -hmm. on mm -hmm. all impact wrenches. Okay. They did this all the way back to when I first started working on Black & Decker's, the whole same setup. It's one automatic. No, it's totally different. Really? It's similar on something no, else. It's, it's similar on some of the old ones, but not on the new ones. Is pneumatic more like a roto? No. It's somewhat si similar on the CP, but it has two balls in it with a can inside of it. But it goes up and down like that with an IR that two truck dogs. Okay, so then, Don, what do you think about using it, just like you were saying, with the customer? The customer wants to buy this to use it as a hammer. Right. Just beats it up quicker, right? Well, not really. This, is, this setup's pretty good because it's all metal. It's all plastic housing like the other. You can use it as a hammer. 
This is the design to drive the screws in, isn't it? Yeah. So maybe a little less force than the, the hammer. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I mean, a hammer drill. It's just a, a convenience where you can just have a drill there with it and then switch over to the hammer drill if needed. So like we just put putting a, a masonry screw in or whatever. You can just pop it over real quick. Pop it over. That's what that's designed for. This is just plain for impact. Okay. Driving screws, that's all we of course, this will blow your mind. This was a. This, I think this was a, an undiscovered thing when they first came out with this. Yeah. It was just an impact wrench until they started driving screws and discovered it drives screws a lot better than being an impact.